All right, uh, I'm now live. Uh, I'm going to stand by for a few minutes, while waiting for viewers to jump on. Um, for those who might already be watching, um, last night, if you guys um, saw Fred Candy's podcast, uh, there's something that we're doing. It's something a little new. Um, it is a solo podcast uh, questionnaire, and the questionnaire is you know it's simple it's something we're doing for fun we're just experimenting trying it out um you know fred's show last night was awesome it was great uh of course i didn't get to watch it live i had to watch it this morning um but it turned out pretty well uh the main thing is uh when you're by yourself and you don't have someone else to jump in and to counteract you know trying to pull off a a, a solo podcast is very awkward um so like I'm already feeling the awkwardness right now as as I'm speaking. So all right. Right now I see viewers jumping on right now and that's awesome. Um and I see the viewers growing. Uh, number of viewers are jumping up. Um like I said, I'll be checking the uh the live chat board the chat uh on the chat board here very shortly. Um for viewers, so uh, basically what I want to do um, if you read the, the name of the link, uh, Bigfoot Questions and Basic Scientific Explanation, um, the scientific explanation that I want to share with you, it's, it's a known fact. It's a fact that many people are aware of or some may not be aware of. Um, now, to clear something up, I've, I know you guys heard me say this more and more and I'm very often. Fred Candy as well has shared the same information. We are not experts, okay? And, you know, just to clear, I, I got to speak bluntly here for a little bit. And, and a lot of you know I'm very blunt. Uh, there's a big mouth floating around, you know, Facebook. You know, I, and I'm not afraid to admit his name because he's attacked me. He's attacked Fred. And, you know, he's a big mouth. And he likes to start trouble. He likes to jump to conclusions. Uh, you know, but, um, I mean, I'm tempted to say his name right now. But uh, Mr. Kelly, uh, you know, he saw my post that I shared, the same link that you guys shared. And uh, how I explain how there's a scientific explanation. Well, without him reading the details of what I'm going to explain, he said, well, you're not an expert. There's no experts. It's just speculation. No. I said, if you read the details, you'll understand. The explanation that I'm getting at right now is what I'm going to discuss and share. It's something that happens to everybody at every a given, a given point in time. Um, and simply, you know, it's it's all about deaf okay and that's where i'm going to start off here before i jump start checking on questions i want to spot, uh, talk about deaf and is a more of a proper name for that because um there's a a very common question that's often floating around um you know and i've heard over and over and over and especially from a skeptic or non-believer well <laughs> Why hasn't there ever been a body found or remains, bones, etc.? Well, I'm going to try to explain clear and simple. I'm not going to try to use big fancy words. Give or take, you might hear a couple, but I'm going to try my best to explain them. Um, and the death of a body, um, it's all summed up in one word. And uh, that word is taphonomy. And forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that word. All right. <sighs> All right, taphonomy. I'm going to spell that word. It's T A P H O N O M Y. All right. The better explain taphonomy. All right. And like I said, I'm going to get into this explanation. This, uh, give you a little definition here of what taphonomy is and what exactly it does. Um, taphonomy is a process of the body which it's the breakdown of the body when a body dies or all right, the better give you a best, uh, excuse me, definition to me. It's the process that takes place when death becomes of any living subject or being. And I'm going to discuss how the breakdown of the K runs its course. All right. There are three stages of the breakdown process. First, you have the liver mortis stage. This is where the blood in the body, uh, flows into one settling place or known as a pool um, 
All right, y'all pull the body. Second, we have river mortis, the river mortis stage. All the muscular tissue becomes rigid and incapable of relaxing. All right, and thirdly, we come to the alga mortis. All right, alga mortis stage. The body loses heat and cools down following these stages. The body goes into a bloat or swelling. Like, for example, you ever see a dead deer on the side of the road? This is a good example. After being there for a day, a couple days, the body starts bloating. Gases start to form, um, et cetera. All right. Yeah, because the gases form, also known by what they call microbes. Microbes grown rapidly, rapidly, and as the body breaks down and decays away, we then enter into the skeleton, excuse me, skeletalization process. Of course, I always get tongue-tied trying to speak these words. They're not that hard. They're just tongue-tying. Well, in this process, the decay of bones is very important, and this is where it, this gets important. Um, I, bones is very, uh, the decay of bones is very important. And before I keep going on, just to let you know, I'm actually reading some notes out of one of my guidebooks that I actually put together. Um, so I'm reading this out of a, my own book. These are from my own notes. And, of course, this is all true stuff. This is, you know, stuff I had studied and put together. And there's a point behind all this where I'm getting at. All right. Like I said, the decay of bones is very important, especially with archaeologists. All right. The soil plays an extremely big role in this process. Now, depending on area of location of the country that obtains or gets a lot of rain or rainfall, the soil may hold a great deal of acid, and which creates acidic soil. All right, common sense. Uh, well, a lot of areas remain damp, or you may have areas that have a great abundance of vege vegetation growth. This is the high level. Of, uh, this is areas like these that have high ex uh, acid in the soil that produces healthy looking and full grown bright green trees and various plant life. Well, when it, uh, when it comes to the acidic soil, this is not healthy to bones, of course. Why? Well, think about it. Acid. What do you think about acid? What's the acid do? It eats away. It breaks away, breaks down. All right. Well, with bones, it, yeah. And well, with bones, this produces a faster decompo decomposition. Uh, process it eats up the bones, breaking them down to become the soil itself. It's like ashes, ashes, dust is dust. Well, in time, everything decays and goes away. All right. Um, let's see. And along with temperature, uh, warm temperatures, and and then like I said, in the acidic soil, all this process will sometimes it could speed up the process of the breakdown or the de decompos decomposition process. Um, all right. To put a recap on this, try to break it down in simple terms. You know, all right. In primates, primates in general, primates have, you know, if you go into the rainforest where primates are abundant and, you know, well known, especially down in, say, uh, South America, um, it's very rare that anyone ever comes across the remains of any primate in the in the jungle. It's because these these are areas that carry a lot of uh, high at high acid, um, and that's another reason why I believe that. Like I said, this is my belief. You could take it how you want. Or you could draw your own conclusions on this. I'm just sharing the scientific facts that. The you know how I explained to you the breakdown of the body, which is taphonomy. Um, <clears throat> like I said, especially out northwest in the North Pacific West, you got the rainforests out there. A lot of acid in that soil. When any creature dies, you can pretty much guarantee within a period of time there won't be no remains of that body left. Uh, especially with the stages I I just read to you. Uh, like I said, the three important stages that I read to you were the liver, al uh, rigor, and algal mortis stages. They all, there's a process that breaks down leading into the skeletal, skeletal, skeletalization process, you know. Um, so if this makes any sense or if this is not understood, uh, this is some of the questions you could probably throw on the chat board. Um, right now, I am actually getting ready to look onto the chat board. Um, and give me